So who do you think these guys are? Uh, those who prove false, I guess. I think Avery or Thomas, too, were just trying to scare us. Good thing we're jaded treasure hunters. <laughs> Good thing. That bridge looks about as safe as the others. Well, it's held up this long. Famous last words. It's okay, it's holding, come on. These bridges are clearly not built to code. Sure they are. The pirate code. <laughs> not bad. Okay, this used to be a path. Hey, look up there. There's more <laughs> carved archways. I still have rocks in my shoes from the last time. Okay, okay, okay! I'm a pro at this by now. So, did two build this place with Avery? I, I can't make sense of it. Uh, neither can I. I mean, if Avery's trying to hide his treasure, why involve another pirate? Uh, maybe he saw him as a part of his crew. Maybe he sent him one of those St. Dismas crosses. Yeah. Maybe two took all the treasure for himself. Please don't say that. Well, we're gonna find out soon enough. No, 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 no. Well, we're not going back that way. Uh, at least we didn't get dropped in a pit or something. This is elaborate. Found another. Yeah, I'm just gonna take the hand out. Whoa. Jesus. It's a pretty elaborate test. Trial? Yeah. And this guy clearly failed. Then let's do better. There's something on the bottom there. It's a bucket. Huh. Okay. Now what? Ah. Bucket filled. All right, pass it up to me. I'm gonna put it back in that big wheel thingy. See what these wheels do. Okay, I think I see what's going on here. Is something with the three crosses? Yeah. I'm guessing we're looking at Jesus, our good thief Dismas, and the jerk thief Gestus. Well, I'm gonna figure the white cross is Dismas, so the black one is Gestus. That's it? Well, you could try pulling the switch. I could.
Nathan, Nathan. You sure you got this? I... I was. Crap! Huh. The crosses are all definitely in the right place. But I'm guessing the bucket is not. Well, there's the light at the top up there. Check it out. Something up there moved when you put the bucket on top. There's a channel running from the mechanism to the door. Okay. So, bucket on top is good. Keep it there. Okay, that's gotta be it. Now, let's find out. Nathan, look. I think you got it. <laughs> All right, see? No oh, shishkinates, no make kebabs today. So, if that was a test, what do you suppose it was testing exactly? Filling a bucket? I had to know about St. Dismas, who I bet Avery and all of his crew were intimately familiar with. <laughs> Not that hard of a test. Maybe it's not the only one. Okay, I'm guessing we need to get up to that broken bridge. Hey, come here. I'll boost you up there. Common. Okay, I got something for you up here. Use this to reach those handholds on the wall over there. Good call. Follow me! Yeah, they're sure not making this easy, are they? I imagine it was easier when all the bridges and walkways weren't broken. <laughs> I guess we're a couple hundred years late. Let's see what's in here. There's a low ceiling here. Watch it. Ah. Watch my ah. Can you need me to slow down for you? This way. Yeah, through here. I see some light through here. Ah, <clears throat> catacombs. Uh, that makes sense. We're under a cathedral. I 
Oh, hold on. What? Last we heard, Listen. No new finds to report. Anything noteworthy by the dormitories? Not unless you count some cleverly worded headstones. Have you finished digging by the chapter house? We have, ma'am. The northwest sites are wide open as well. And what about the southern perimeter? Not yet. It'll take us a day to move the crane over there. Nadine. Make it happen. In the meantime, see what you can dig up without it. I'll send a couple of men over right away. Good. Rafe, any luck with those manuscripts? Can we have a minute? Keep me updated. Yes, ma'am. Did you hear? They found a whole annexed area under the cathedral. I did. Have you seen it? No. Why? Because there wasn't much left after they'd finished finding it. My men have been a bit liberal with They're the dialogue. like a hundred well-armed bulls in a china shop. But they've made more progress in two days than we've made in months. Progress? I can't analyze rubble. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I'll let them know they need to give you a heads up before they do anything drastic. Or you can tell them to sit tight until I analyze the few clues that haven't been blown up. No, we can't sit around waiting any longer. All due respect, I think I have a bit more experience with this sort of thing than you do. We tried things your way. Bullshit. You've been wanting to level this place ever since we got here. No! I wanted to steal that cross long before it ever even made it to that auction. The same auction where I couldn't have my men around to deal with any surprises. The auction was the cleanest way but to get the cross. But instead of going with my gut, I'll listen to you. And now we have competition. Oh, well, I didn't think he'd show up. Or maybe you wanted to draw him out. <laughs> Why the hell would I do that? Because you think you need him. And maybe you do. Point is, I'm done trying to do things the clean way. If the treasure is here, we'll find it. And if not, well... Maybe it's time to move on, huh? It's not personal. Of course. I'll let you know if anything turns up. Let's get moving before they blow that treasure to bits. Oh, let's start making out. <laughs> hey, wait. You think she was right, though? About what? About Rafe want to draw you out. As long as he doesn't get the upper hand, who cares? Doesn't matter. What annexed area you suppose they were talking about? There's got to be some side chamber because we're the only ones here. Mind me, don't mind me. Too high to jump up there unless you got a trampoline. <laughs> Left it in my backyard. Oh, darn. Hey, do you have a trampoline? I wish.
Hang on. Oh, look at you. One crate coming up. I thank you, good sir. <laughs> Definitely getting closer to the cathedral. Gotta say, this is far more sophisticated than I was expecting. <laughs> Me too. Bridge is out. Gotta find another way across. <laughs> Here goes nothing. <laughs> Good thing you're not heavier than the crate. Okay. Made it. What's the plan? We can hook our ropes onto this. That'll work. Needs bridges. Oh no, I I wouldn't mind bridges per se. Well, can't go through there. So how do we get through? <clears throat> Over here. Look at that. If this place wasn't completely falling apart. We'd probably be trapped again. <clears throat> Nathan, look around you. <clears throat> Holy crap. This must have been another test, but it all just crumbled into the ocean. Well, I guess the test now is... How the hell do we get to the other side? Oh, what's this? safe-looking wooden seesaw thing might be the trick. Worth a shot. Well, here goes nothing. Nathan, Nathan, stop! You won't make it. You're too low. I'll weigh it down. Go. <laughs> Made it! All right! Uh, now, what about me? Right. Uh, just let me look around. Cool. Cool. I'll just hang out here. Check out all that machinery. You know, it really makes you appreciate everything that goes into making one of these dead traps. <laughs> Don't be glib. Who's being glib? This is a carnival of human engineering. Any luck? Yeah, give me a sec. Okay, I found something to weigh down the seesaw. Excellent. You sure that'll work? It's heavier than I am. I don't know about that. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Hey, nice air. Oh, crap.
I got you. Yeah. There. Thanks. There's another test down. Yeah, at this point, I'd rather take another death trap. At this point, I hope we're at the end of this thing. Come on. <clears throat> Okay, getting a bit dramatic with the statues here. Seriously, why decorate a treasure burial site? Or build elaborate tests? Ugh. I'll never get used to this. Another cross. <laughs> At least this one has some jewels on it, right? Whoa, whoa, don't touch it. What? Why? <laughs> Look at it. It's the only valuable thing we've seen in this cave. Right. This is another test. Agreed. Yeah. Well, or lack thereof. Okay, so. It's, it's gotta be the coins. Yeah. Are you sure about this? I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure we'll have to do. Right, just, just one now. Great, I got it. Please don't be a trap. Recognize the shape? It's Madagascar. Look. Star right here. It's King's Bay. Yes, it is. <laughs> Son of a bitch. He's screwing with us. What are you talking about? Avery. He's screwing with us. This was supposed to be it. So where's the goddamn treasure, huh? I mean, King's Bay, great. Well, what's next? North Pole? Outer space? Nathan. For those who prove worthy, paradise awaits. He, he was recruiting. Who was recruiting? Avery was recruiting. Recruiting for what? <laughs> You gentlemen are very, very noisy. Guns on the floor. Slowly. Must have you from last time. Uh, throwing me out a window didn't do it for you? Rafe. Rafe, come in. I'm at the graveyard. Nadine, hey, we're here. Yeah, I'm looking at them right now. What? Where are you? Come back to the cathedral. Follow the holes. I'm on my way. And for God's sakes, don't shoot him yet. <sighs> Not want to hurry then. King's Bay. Yeah, but, uh, where in King's Bay? You'll need that cross over there to figure it out, but there's only two people that can tell you how to use it. Let me guess. You two. I'm gonna leave it to Rafe. You're gonna be waiting a long time. Sorry, boys. I'm not here to negotiate. Bring me the crucifix. It's not a crucifix. What? Well, technically, a crucifix refers to cross the. You know what? Never mind. Don't touch it! <laughs> Okay! This thing! 
That's my chance. Come on, come on. What's the plan? I'm working on it. Ready? We gotta go up to get out. Here we go. Didn't we? And we kicked it, punched it, and set it on fire. Story. Short version is get us the hell out of here. Yeah, I think it. Hold tight. Be there as soon as I can. Oh, hell.
Hey, kids. There's no place to land up here. Can you make it down to the water? Yeah, set her down. One way or another, we'll get to you. Keep running! Don't stop! Is this how it always is? No! That's kind of. Yeah. Yes. Yes, definitely. Victor's saying the weather is lovely this time of year. I can't see shit! Just keep heading down until we hit the water! This one, huh? They shot up my goddamn plane, mate. We're fine, thanks. How soon can you get us to Madagascar? No treasure, then. Not yet. I don't know what you're talking about. Look, we're rich. Jesus. I suppose it's a start. Do you think the rest is in Madagascar? Well, there was a chamber back there with a giant map of Madagascar on the floor, so... Yeah, it's probably there. This is beginning to smell a whole lot like wild goose, kid. Look, the treasure was never in Scotland, okay? Then what was the point of all that, huh? Of the St. Dismas Look, Cross? it's like I said. I think Avery was recruiting people. The cross was an invitation. The caves were just some sort of uh, initiation. Oh, so we all passed, huh? Congrats, Victor. We get eye patches and parrots now. I don't get it. Why the hell would they go to all that bother just to weed people out? To protect himself. Look, Avery was the most wanted man in the world at that time. He had to enlist people that he could trust in order to keep their treasure secret. What do you mean, their treasure? I, I just think about this. Thomas, too, was a successful pirate in his own right. What would he possibly stand to gain from joining Avery? I think Avery sent out crosses only to the other wealthy pirates like himself. 
What if they pooled and hid all their treasure together? That would make the gun's way all look like chump change. Exactly. Oh, holy shit. Okay, so where exactly in Madagascar are we going? Kings Bay. It was an old pirate haven back in uh, Avery's time. I know it well. It's a big place. Anything more specific? Well, that map chamber completely caved in, so, you know. <laughs> what are you laughing about? The people who survived the caves. The recruits. What's the one thing they would have left with? There's a volcano on this. There's a volcano near King's Bay. Which means we need to get a move on. Hey. Hey, Nate. Hi, honey. Oh, hi. I've been trying to get a hold of you. Are you okay? Yeah, of course. What do you mean? Well, you know, the news. There's been all that flooding. Maybe going to Malaysia during the monsoon season wasn't such a good idea. Yeah, right. Right, yeah, it, uh, it grounded us for sure. You know, had some equipment failure, but, you know, no one's hurt or anything. Well, as long as you guys are safe. So are you going to start work tomorrow? Uh, postponed, actually. Uh, looks like we're going to need maybe another 10 days or so. Ugh, 10 days? Hey, well, I, why don't I just uh, go ahead and buy a ticket then? Oh, uh, you know, you don't have to do that. It's fine. I mean, you know, these guys always overestimate things. I'm, I'm sure it'll be less time than that. Okay, well, you know, don't rush. Make sure that you're safe. Oh, I will. Always do. Uh, listen, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I gotta go. Jameson's calling me over. Okay. I love you. Love you, too. What are the satellites saying, Victor? Right now, not a goddamn thing. I lost the signal. Hey, you know what never loses signal? Paper. All right, this route right here should take us straight to the volcano. Might get a little bumpy, though. Let's get the show on the road. Okay. All right. So, what are we looking for out here? Well, the map shows all these structures around the volcano. Abandoned outposts, a handful of watchtowers. Watchtowers? Now, Avery was the most wanted man in the world. So if he was hiding something out here, it makes sense he'd need lookouts. And one of those towers is right on the volcano. With Avery's treasure. We see some ruins up ahead. Wait here. I'll go take a look. <laughs> oh, Victor. <laughs> Still do a lot of traveling these days. Yeah, I try. I tend to pick jobs that get me away from the computer. <laughs> you know, I was telling Nathan, it's shocking how much of the business has moved to the internet. I mean, I bet you have all sorts of options to get rid of hot cargo and hell. Yeah, sure, but I prefer talking to clients face to face. Get a good read on. Hard to do that in a chat room talking to some guy named Antiquity Master 37. Huh. Not much to see here. Well, ah, nothing worthwhile. Come on, let's keep going. Hey, so with our luck, what are the odds this volcano is going to erupt on us? Zero. It's extinct. Trust me, that's the first thing I looked up when we said we were heading for a volcano. That and where to rent the cheapest four by. Wait, Sully, you're telling me that you actually did some research? I can't let you be the know-it-all every time. That bridge there is what you would call rickety. Now 
Yeah, this looks promising. Come on, come on, baby. Let's go, 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 go. Made it. Okay, kid. Just don't drop us. Hey, just keep, keep it slow. Keep it in the center. Yeah, there's a lot of backseat driving going on right now. It's gonna be fine. Uh, what do you suppose the way- ah! We're good. Everything's good. Jesus Christ. Onward and upward. We're getting nowhere fast. Let's not get stuck here. Need traction here. Okay, I think I'm getting the hang of this. There we go. <laughs> Slip and slide. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, my spine. Look. Tire tracks. Someone came up this way. <coughs> Sorry. I'm gonna scout around. <sighs> Love this weather. Yeah, bit humid. <laughs> it's not Panama humid. Yeah, it's all relative, I guess. Out here, Nathan. Hey, look up there on the hill. Got a tower or something. Now we're talking. Hey, Victor, what were you arguing with the rental guy about? Oh, your brother insisted on getting a 4x4 four four with a winch. So you sprung for the winch, but you couldn't spring for the suspension. I got it. Hey, it's important. Going off road. It might rain, might be muddy. Oh, See? shit. Take this slow, kid. Yeah. So, Nathan, you're thinking Avery, too, and some other big shot pirates pulled their treasure and came out here because... Why, exactly? Who knows? Maybe for protection? The British authorities were closing in on him. Sure. Maybe, uh, he helped them disappear. I mean, the guy clearly had a knack for hiding things. That was a valiant effort. Let's go check out that tower. I'll come with. It's in pretty good shape or something several hundred years old. Yeah. They're definitely ruins from Avery's era. Sam, look. That's Christopher Condon's sigil. He's uh, captain of the Fiery Dragon, operated out of Madagascar around Avery's time. So maybe Avery recruits pirate captains to, what, be his lookouts? That don't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Well, maybe each captain was responsible for a tower, along with providing the men for it. 
Whatever the case, this certainly isn't our final stop on our tour. stripped away. Something was wrapped around this tree. <laughs> hey, did you know our car came with a winch? Oh, really? I didn't know. What you gonna do with it? Not sure yet. There, that ought to do it. Whoa, whoa. Wow, that looked like fun. Steeper than it looks. All right, ready? Give it a shot. Here we go. Steady. Steady. <laughs> See, Sully? Winch. Totally worth it. We cleared a hill. It hasn't exactly paid for itself. Well, not yet. Small victories. Yeah, well, I'll celebrate the big ones. Feast your eyes, gentlemen. Wow. Spectacular. Just imagine, you've come here, a well-to-do pirate far away from your oppressive government. <laughs> Those poor oppressed pirates. All they wanted to do was to murder and pillage in peace. No, no, they wanted to live as free men. Well, if you're gonna pick a place to run away from society, you could do a lot worse than here. It's taking forever to get to this volcano. Patience, Victor. Patience. Do you know how those pirates got here? They had to start in England, sail to Brazil, then cut back across the Atlantic to South Africa. Sam. And they figured all that out with paper, charts, and by looking at the stars. Hey, you're describing <laughs> sailing. Be right Jan back, fellas. Hey, where are you going? I gotta go look around. Sully, what were you talking about? Uh, yeah. So, you're describing sailing to a former squid. The point is, we got it pretty easy. Yeah. You know, still taking a long time. Oh, shit. Stop, stop. I see him. What do we got? Military types poking around. 
Nadine's guys? Yep. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Looks like they found an old colony outpost. But the wrong one, right? That's the good news. That means it's bad news. The only route to the volcano is straight through them. Oh, shit. You do have the drop on them. What's the play here, Nathan? Just follow my lead.
Shoreline goons. Down, one to go. Okay. I think that's it. God damn it. Rafe and Nadine must have dozens of guys out here. I mean, they, they could just stumble onto the treasure through blind luck. Again with the winch, Sully. Pretty handy, right? I wasn't against getting the winch. I was against getting ripped off. No, turn into it. <clears throat> Sully, just how well do you know Nadine? Why? I was thinking maybe you can contact her, convince her to call off her goons. <laughs> yeah, right. What if we promise her a bigger cut than Rafe? No, that's not how she operates. More of a money-up-front kind of mercenary. The rape's got the advantage. Look, shoreline. Yeah, they're definitely going all in, aren't they? And getting awful close to that volcano. Singing the same damn thing. They found the treasure already. Well, look, they're searching every inch of this place. If they'd found it already, they wouldn't be searching. Yeah, well, you're right. Hey, Sam. You don't mind me asking, how'd you pass the time in prison? Uh, you know, reading, mostly. There was this one guard saw me as a charity case, I guess. He had to check out books from the library for me. So what'd you read? <laughs> History, uh, especially anything related to Avery and other pirates. Just in case, you know. Sure. But you know, besides books, push-ups, uh, check this out. What if that's man-made or natural? Looks to me to be half and half. Sam, what were you talking about? Uh, oh, right. Push-ups, smoking, trying to stay out of fights between rival gangs. <laughs> 